is Jeff Shelton. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I moved over here about three years ago to set up a horse facility so I could start training two-year-olds as a profession. This is a two-year-old that uh, I had from uh, one of the mares that I own. I sold him to a gentleman and now I've got him back to training for his wife. Uh, he's had uh, 30 days of ground training. He's had a, another 30 days of bareback and bridleless riding. And now we're going into more of the refinement. Everything that he has learned in the past, we're now reteaching him again and asking for a little more refinement. And as you can see, he's pretty much stuck right there. He's not going to come in until he's asked to come in because that's the last place I left him. And he's just that good. Jeff has a really unique style. He's very comfortable with horses. He really senses their needs and they seem to sense the fact that he knows what he's doing and they trust him. Um, you know, I've watched him. I was there when this baby right here was born and Jeff's been working with him since then and um, they've just formed a companionship. The horse trusts him um, and actually enjoys doing what he's asked to do. He sees it more of a game and that's the way that Jeff tries to keep it is more of a, a game playing scenario than a breaking of the horse scenario and it's worked really well for him. He's a, he's, a, he's a very natural horse trainer. He's not gonna go in there and, and, and rope them and break them and make them do things. He makes it just as much fun for them. And he's persistent and he sticks with them until he knows that they know it. And if he gets into a situation where they don't seem to know, he has just unbelievable patience to stay out there for hours and work on it until they get it. dancing one night and he was talking to someone about a clinic that he had just done at his place and I'm the secretary of our local Arab Horse Association and we started talking and I asked him if he'd be willing to do a clinic for us for the Arab show as a fundraiser so he came out and did a clinic at our house a couple about a month or so ago we had a great time a lot of people showed up he took a little six-month-old colt that had never been led or haltered and taught him how to lead and the little guy's been just a joy since then. He seems to be really in tune with them and their body language and it's he has a natural talent for being able to um, understand what they're resisting or what they're concerned with and he was able in just a very short period of time to take a fairly spunky little six-month-old filly and within about two and a half or three hours he had her standing still while he cracked a whip walking over a tarp doing um, uh, following and leading and backing and stopping when he stopped and being just as compliant as, as I'd ever seen. I think as a horse trainer Jeff's a natural. He has a real sensitivity towards horses. I've worked with training my own horses for many years now and they've responded well to me because I've known them since they were born. But I see the same response from them to him when he first walks in. I've known Jeff just a couple of months. Uh, my daughter owns this horse and she lives in Alaska. He was um, born here, and he's going to stay here till he's two. And we were looking for someone that would just have that wonderful talent to start him, to um, calm him down, to get him used to all kinds of things like whips and towels and ropes and being tied up and having his feet picked up and just all the kinds of things that kind of makes a horse what they call bomb-proof. And Jeff, um, we've. We were told about him by uh, someone that worked in a western store, who's a friend. And uh, we came out, my daughter was here from Alaska, and we, he demonstrated with um, 
typical colt that he has here that's about two. And we were awestruck uh, with uh, what he could do with that, with that colt. He was on him with no bridle. He could move him in any direction. He had him soft. He had him uh, just totally trusting. I think what impressed us the most was that he has a way of getting the horse to just mind meld with him and watch him and uh, wait for the next move and that that is a wonderful base for um, beginning a, um, a young horse under saddle because if they've had that beginning then it transfers to the rider when they're on top and uh, I've watched Jeff put him in the round pen and get him going and paying attention and relaxed and stopping when Jeff moves his body a certain way and the horse just seems to just read his mind and, and I think what Jeff says is he knows how to do horse talk, he knows how to, to communicate with them and he really does.